This is 40 meters. I cannot believe that. I actually cannot believe that, bro. All right, what is going on, everyone? It's your boy Wyatt, AKA Wombo Combo, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Strand in PVP effectively. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying that Strand isn't very good and that it's just kind of a gimmick and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can't help but disagree more. It's really strong, it is very strong. Uh, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to use it uh, correctly. So first things first, let's talk about the grapple. If you use the grapple like this, you are using it wrong. You should never use the grapple in a straight line. Granted, if you're trying to make a quick getaway, like say this motherfucker is on my ass, right? And I need to get out of here. You can use it to get away, that's fine. But if you are trying to get the drop on somebody, the worst thing you can do is fly at them in a straight line. So say me and Jack are in an engagement, I'm trying to kill Jack. I would do this personally to surprise him. That is how to use the grapple effectively. Um, if you just fly at people in a straight line, you will get dookied on. The correct way to use the grapple is to try and find a way around a corner or something like that um, to get the drop on them. And as you just saw, a lot of people also don't use it uh, to bend their jumps, right? Like they just go in a straight line. But what a lot of people don't know, and I don't see a lot of people doing, is you can shoot it here and fly out and around. You can curve your jumps. That is super important to remember. Like, don't just go in a straight line all the time. If someone's over there, pop your grapple, swing around, jump over. Throw your melee. Obviously, you want to hit your shots um, better than I did, but... So that's like step one, learning the grapple. The grapple, super important to, to know how to use. Second is tangles. If you kill a target affected by strand, you generate a tangle. Tangles do 101 damage and make for easy cleanups. You can two tap them with a hand cannon, shred them with an SMG, etc. cetera. Uh, tangles are super strong. There's also a fragment that gives tangles more damage. Here's another example of curving around a corner, right? He's around that corner. I know he is. I see him on radar. Bam. That's how you surprise someone with Strand. It's not Shatter Dive. People who think that it's Shatter Dive are, are the ones who are not using it effectively. Um, you want to use it in a way where the enemy will not see it coming. Bam. He has no idea where I am. He's lost. <laughs> you feel me? So, uh, definitely... There's there's a better way to use it than using it hyper aggressively like shatter dive and that took me some time to figure out Also, I'm not gonna just claim that I knew this from the beginning Like it definitely took me a minute to get a feel for how to use this dodge effectively um, But you definitely don't want to use it like shatter dive because it's not you see someone on radar you grapple around the corner suspend throw your melee shotgun whatever, you know just Whatever you have to do, but don't use it like Shatter Dive. It is not a hyper-aggressive, push-in, uh, play-style kind of thing. Um, so that is kind of my advice for how to use Hunter effectively. Okay, now for Warlock, I actually don't recommend using the Grapple at all. I recommend using the Threadling Grenade because of this aspect right here. Um, Mindspun Invocation. Uh, you press whatever your button is, whatever your grenade key is, depending on your platform, hold to consume your Threadling Grenade and immediately generate five perched Threadlings. The other thing is that your other aspect, when you cast your uh, Rift, it weaves three Threadlings and deploys all Threadlings you have perched. You see these green things floating around me? Those are Threadlings. When I pop my Rift, I'll generate three more. That's eight Threadlings. It only takes five to kill a Guardian, okay? Dead. From consuming my grenade and popping a Rift. That is it. <laughs> that is all it takes. Uh, and uh, just so you guys know, I am using the Swarmer boots. I do recommend them. They are very powerful, uh, but you don't need them. They're not required for this. So 
once again, I'm gonna pop it. I will even go behind cover and pop my rift. Watch. I can't even see him. I didn't even have line of sight on him and the swarmers did all of the work. That is how powerful swarmers are. Um, it's absolutely crazy. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Um, <laughs> the Threadlings are nasty. They are an absolute beast of an ability to use. Um, also, I do recommend higher fire rate weapons if you just have perched Threadlings, right? Like, say you don't have your Rift available. If you shoot someone, it will send out a single Threadling at a time. It's based on the amount of bullets you hit, not a damage threshold. So if I do an SMG, I will send out multiple Threadlings. Um, before the Guardian even dies. It is very important to remember that to um, use them effectively. If you are using a hand cannon or something like that, while that still works, uh, higher fire rate weapons will send out the Threadlings quicker. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, one of them fell off the map, but... Dude, holy shit. 30 meters? That's so far away. I, I just... That's ridiculous. And they just seek you out. Like, I don't even have to do anything. That's crazy. The other thing that's important is with the super needle storm, I felt the need to mention this, you do not have to hit a target. If you throw it near a target, and I, I say near loosely, the swarms will chase and kill, which is very important to keep in mind. You do not have to throw it at a target directly to get kills. You can throw it at the wall and the swarmers will do the rest. This is a very, very powerful super. Throw the swarmers there. And there they go. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. Um, very powerful. Um, I'm not going to touch on Titan in today's video. Only because I haven't used it in PvP a whole lot. I've been playing a lot of Warlock and a lot of Hunter. Uh, but, yeah. I've seen a lot of people saying that Warlock's not very good. Or that Hunter's not very good. And I couldn't disagree more. I think it is a high skill... Uh, ceiling well <laughs> warlock's not hunter is a high skill ceiling uh, class I believe that you know it does take some skill to use effectively warlock is actually just broken uh, but anyways guys I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that uh, you're enjoying strand I know I am in PvP and I will catch you guys next time thanks for watching peace